Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa and today for you guys, I have gluten-free Pop-Tarts. Oh my God. These things are freaking great. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Vanessa. And uh, no, I'm not a chef or a cook. I just am somebody who's kind of playing around in their kitchen and because I have to go gluten-free, I'm kind of relearning how to do everything. But you know something I didn't know? Pop-Tarts, they're not the way they used to be when we were kids. I haven't eaten them in forever, but my husband, who is not gluten-free, he, um, he bought some the other day. And dude, the one thing that I remember was the filling. That was like, to me, that was the best part. I don't know what your guys' favorite was. Blueberry, though, I'm, pff, listen. Blueberry and then went strawberry. Like, blueberry, strawberry, those were freaking great. But in this one, we are going to be doing kind of like a berry, like a mixed berry in a way. But you guys can do whatever with this. Go ahead and swap it out. You guys can use chocolate, Nutella. You guys can literally do whatever. This is so versatile. It's so easy. I was so surprised that I actually have another video coming kind of with the same recipe, a little bit different. But that one is going to be Hot Pockets. That's how easy this recipe is. But for this one, we are going to be doing gluten-free, Pop tarts. We're gonna make them at home. It's gonna be super easy, super quick, and uh, yeah. So I'm so excited for this one. If you guys would like to see how I make my gluten-free pop tarts, like I said, berry pop tarts, but you guys can do whatever. Then go ahead and keep on watching. Now, just like in every other video, if I talk too fast or you guys miss anything, don't worry. The measurements and everything else will either be on the screen or down in the description. Usually when I voice over, I kind of try to explain the more important things and usually the measurements will be on the screen or in the description. But basically in this one, we are going to have gluten-free flour and then we're gonna add coconut flour to this. The coconut gives it that flaky, you know like the Pop-Tarts have like that like weird like flaky, crumbly type of texture. It's perfect for it. And then we're going to add a full stick of butter. This isn't healthy. I, I never claimed it was. Now in this recipe, the most important thing is that the butter is very cold. I had mine in the freezer overnight and then I took it out and let it defrost a little bit and then I put it in here. I cut it into little cubes and then you wanna work with your hands and it'll get warmer as you know your body heat and stuff heats it up but it's so important that the butter is cold. So please make sure the butter is cold. If it's not workable like this, um, put it back in the fridge or in the freezer and let it firm up just a little bit. And then after you get it to be kind of crumbly, like thick, big crumbles, um, then we are going to slowly add water. Now this just depends. You're just gonna add water slowly, cold water, not warm water, not you know room temperature water, just cold. We want this entire recipe to be cold. Um, but we're just gonna keep adding and kneading until it turns into kind of like a doughy ball. Like it want, not too firm, not crumbly because we need it to roll out, kind of like a sticky firm, firm ball. Um, ignore my countertops. I was making a whole bunch of videos, videos for you guys on this day and I thought I cleaned it all up and I missed oh, one spot, probably because the bowl was there. <laughs> but yeah, basically you're gonna keep rolling and keep adding water until it gets into this type of form. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saran wrap it and then I'm going to put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes or so. Like we don't want it ice frozen like a solid block, but we do want it to stiffen back up. Like I said, the whole thing is about being cold. And then I'm gonna make the sauce really quick. This is just gonna be the little glaze sauce that goes on top. I'm doing this now because when they get hot, I want it to firm up very fast. So I'm doing it while I'm waiting. And that way this has time to firm up and then we could throw it on the piping hot pop tarts and then it'll get a little wet and then it'll firm right back up. Kind of like how the icing is on normal pop tarts. But basically all it is is um, powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and a little bit of milk and I add the milk very slowly. Now for the berry mixture. The berry mixture, it's you can do whatever you want, remember. So if you wanted a strawberry one or a blueberry one, it's just I had a bunch of frozen berries in my fridge for like my own breakfast. So I was like, yeah, I'll just use this. So what I do is I just kind of wilt these down, make them unfrozen, and then all the juices will come out. I add a little bit of water, a little bit of lemon juice, and then I'm going to kind of mash them up when they get like warm and 
are more workable they're not frozen anymore and then to this i'm going to add some uh, cornstarch that's going to thicken everything right back up and because you know we don't want it just runny and all over the place we want it to be kind of firm not like a jelly but a little bit less than a jelly and then once i bash bash hello mash everything up then we are going to add some jelly so i just added some strawberry jelly to this you can add whatever you want i just did it to give it a little bit more texture and a little bit thickness to it the cornstarch will already do that but this will help it a little bit more so then to this once we do that we add the jelly we mix it around i'll go through and i'll see how i like the texture and then I will either add more cornstarch or more jelly or, you know, more water if it's too thick or whatever. Um, but basically that's it. And then we just kind of whisk it together until it gets well combi combined. And then once we turn off the heat, because we don't want it piping hot when it goes into the Pop-Tarts, um, once the, the heat kind of goes down, it'll thicken all back up. And it won't be, like I said, we don't want it too, too thick, but we also don't want it too runny either. So once we set all that to the side, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 and then we're going to work on the dough. Now this dough, if it, if you pull it out, it is workable. If you pull it out and it just crumbles apart, you didn't add enough water. It's fine. You can add water right at this point. You can add a little bit of water on it, mix it together, throw it back in the freezer for a little bit, let it firm back up. And then you can like, don't even worry about it. If it's too, too crumbly, if it's just falling apart on you, just add a little bit more water do the same thing before and knead it a little bit and throw it back in. Um, if not, if it turns out like this, perfect. You just kind of roll it out to your thickness, to your liking. I would say nothing too, too crazy. And then what I did was I kind of separated it um, with one of those, I don't know, they move all the veggies and stuff after you cut them. <laughs> but I cut them with that and then just make sure that you flour your surface. That's what I was doing. I was struggling right here. But um, after this, you throw a little bit of flour on it. You kind of throw put it around, go ahead and knead it out, roll it out, and then set it on a baking sheet with tin foil. Try to make them as even as possible. That way you can have a top and a bottom. If not, it's fine. You might get some stuff kind of coming out the sides, but it should be fine. But basically I'm just gonna repeat this process. And if the dough is too much to work with, go in batches, go in you know halves of a, of a ball or you know whatever. Just make sure you flour your surface, you flour your rolling pin, you flour your dough. And it's okay to keep adding flour. Don't even worry about it. Like it doesn't ruin the recipe or it doesn't ruin the texture or anything. It literally is just to be able to work with. But don't even be scared to add more flour if you're having a hard time working with it. Oh, and make sure that you spray your tin foil with nonstick spray. <laughs> I messed up before and I didn't do that. So make sure that you spray it. And then to this, we're going to add an egg wash to all these. Like even before we put on the berry, you'll see in a second, I'll show you. But you see right here, I kind of put down what I wanted and then I kind of found the matching parts to go on the top. So to here, we're gonna add um, the egg mixture, kind of just a little dab all over. We don't want it to cook too much on it. We just want it to kind of adhere to it. And the, the yolk and stuff will help the berry mixture and everything else kind of stick to it. So it's just a light coating. Don't need to douse it. Literally a little goes a long way. And then we're going to fill the berry with whatever you want. Nutella, chocolate you can do whatever you want go for it have fun with this make whatever your kids like what you like and you can stuff it as much as you want that's the best part we don't have to rely on what they have in the store where it's a tiny little bit no we get to make it so have fun do do fill it to the brim if you want to that's what i did and you're gonna see in a second that they popped out of the side but you know what it was perfect because they were Filled. It was like a jelly filled donut. Do you remember when they used to be like that when we were younger? I don't know if they're still like that, but you know, I don't eat pop tarts anymore. We can't. But yeah, now you could you could do what you want. You could fill it up with anything and fill it as much or as little as you'd like. And then I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to press all the sides down so that way nothing just starts to just fall out because once they cook, it'll all just poof itself right out. And that's it. So pretty much just 
kind of, if it comes out the side, you're fine. Don't even worry about it. We just clean it up. What I did was I scraped off the sides and I just ate them. <laughs> See how easy that is? If you have any type of fear of the, um, the middle or the center being too gooey, I didn't do it on this one, but I did do it on the Pop-Tarts. You can go ahead and just press the fork down like twice in the middle of the Pop-Tart and it'll cook the inside even more if that's what you feel like. I didn't do it on this one, but I did do it on the Hot Pockets. So it's up to you. And then we did a quick little egg wash again and then we're going to throw them in the oven until they get golden brown. I want to say I did them for about 30 minutes or so and I just kind of babysat them. See the stuff on the side? It's character. She, she's two C's thick, that's why. Two C's, three C's, you know, three C's. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It was fine the way it was. Sometimes you get a little bit messy. And then we're gonna put on the top and you'll see right here that it gets hard kind of quick. Um, if you wanna add sprinkles, which I do in a little bit to this, make sure you add it kind of quick because the stuff hardens. So it's up to you on what you want. If you want it to be chocolate, you can add a little bit of chocolate sauce into it or melted chocolate chips or whatever. It's completely up to you guys. Go for it, have fun. And that's what I did. I went over twice with two coats of it and then I added some sprinkles. Oh, they were freaking delightful. Perfect. They're very sweet. I don't have that big of a sweet tooth, but my husband loved them. He raved about them. These things are, look at that. Okay, now we're gonna go to the texture. Look at that texture. Woohoo! Oh yeah, I was having a little bit of a hard time because they were hot. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Does that not look like a Pop-Tart? Oh my God. And they were perfect kind of, oh, look at that. Oh, these were perfect. You guys have to try them and let me know how you like them. And yeah, let me know. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. But if not, that's fine. You're welcome back anytime. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If there's anything else you guys are looking for, go ahead and check down in the playlist down below. I have all kinds of stuff. I'm sorry if you can hear my little dog. It's not a little dog, it's a husky, but he's little in my eyes. But <laughs> you can hear him clicking around. But yeah, if you guys would like to see anything, everything will be down below in the playlist. And if not, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.